First of all, though, what we will say is you got you got to try and remember where the colours are because there's no centres. You've got nothing to refer to, and other than no other reason, I always like to start with a white on the top. But of course, we haven't got a white, so we'll go with a yellow. And uh, there's no other way really. You know, you just got to try and think how are you going to remember it. And all I can remember is is just looking at the colours and thinking the first letter of that name and trying to work out a word. So what I've realised is starting with, with green, G, orange, O, B for blue, so gob. So yellow at the top, gob, with a pink at the end, so gob P, P gob or gob P. So now I'll mix that, knowing I'm going to have the yellow at the top, and that's how I'm going to remember these colours. And of course the bottom's going to be red. Okay, so, uh, bear with me, I'll just mix this up. Let's find the yellow and green so here's yellow and green that's what I'm going to start with as I said G so there's a yellow green the next one I want to be is or yellow with an orange so there's a blue there so let's find the yellow and orange here it is down here and move it around move it into place there so the next yellow I want here is going to be G O B the blue one um, and here it is here so I'm guessing you know how to manipulate the pieces there so we've got G O B and the P yeah that's so what we've got our what's going to be our yellow cross because we don't have a white and then we're just going to fit the corners in as per usual so we find a yellow corner yellow pink and blue yeah Find the pink and blue. We'll, we'll do it like this first. So, pink and blue. So, we're going to do right inverse, down inverse, right down. Okay. Just keep doing that right inverse, down inverse, right down. And we've lost, lost our pink and blue. There it is. I'm going to carry on doing that move. And it's in. But of course, what I see on, on mine a lot of the time, people seem to love doing the sexy move because it's got a sexy name. So let's find the yellow, yellow, orange, and green. So we'll find the there's the orange and the green. We want that to come here. So we'll do the sexy move, which, which is right, upper, right, reverse, upper, reverse. And there it is in yeah so we've got two corners in we've got one more corner to fit in um, and here it is round here it's the yellow orange and blue so orange and blue and we'll do again the sexy move is because it's on the right it's going to go in one go yep so right upper right inverse upper inverse and there it is it's actually bottom layer done magic and uh, so far it's all going to be just like your three by three layer by layer method um, and now we're looking for because this is now the top layer is now going to be red um, we're looking for anything that hasn't got red on it so blue and pink here so move that around to yeah, the pinks above the pink and the blue there so we're going to move this to, to this side so we'll do do the move you know upper Right, upper inverse, right inverse. Then we'll turn the cube, we'll do upper inverse. Yeah, left, upper, left. There, that's thin there. Okay, nothing new so far. So we've got a green and orange here. We'll move that round to the green and orange. So we're moving this one down to this side now. So yeah, we're gonna do that upper inverse. Left inverse, wrap up left, yep, turn the cube, and then we're going to do upper right, up inverse, right inverse, and we've got that in there. Orange and blue, I'm not going to tell you how to do all these now because uh, I'm sure you know what you're doing. So that is, this is your first two layers done okay so what I'm going to do 
start with is I will do your front right upper right reverse upper reverse front reverse and of course what I'm going for is the line so that's the line there yeah now we'll do the same move again front right upper right reverse up and verse, front and verse. And now we've got the fish. So you can see we've got the cross and we've actually got the fish head. So now we'll do the soon move. Yep. Cheers. Right, upper, front and verse, upper, right, upper, upper, right. And we've got two, so because, we've got, because we've got two corner pieces, what I like to do is put the, the red here, or the top colour here at the front. And I'll go because yeah, if they've got no, if I've got no corners, I'll put the, the top colour here. If I've got one corner like the fish head, I'll put the top colour here, the red here. Because I've got two, I'll put it here, and I'll carry on and do that soon move. Yeah, right upper, right reverse upper, right upper upper, right. So I've got the fish again. Yeah, right upper, right reverse upper, right. Upper, upper, right. Upper, upper, right, upper, and here we go, it's in. So now we've got our red face, yeah. Okay, so now we've got the red face, but all the blues. Okay, so we'll have to do the referee move. Yeah, I'm sure you know what you're doing here. This isn't a, a three by three tutorial, it's just trying to show any differences with the void. So, right, front, right, back. Back, right, front, right, back, back, and then right, right again. Okay, yeah, so we've got all our corners in place. Yeah, all we've got to do is orientate these edges. So we've got blue here, it needs to go this way. So we do that move, yeah, to the front. And right. Okay, so those two got in, and brilliant, we've landed with a parity. Now sometimes, with parity, you can get two opposites not done, okay? This time we've got the two, two edges here, and what we do is we'll put the two incorrect ones, to, one in front of you, and one to the left, yeah? And the correct ones at the back and the right, and we do this move, okay? It's Middle inverse, upper, middle inverse, upper, middle inverse, upper inverse, middle inverse, upper inverse, middle inverse, upper, upper, middle inverse, upper inverse, middle inverse, upper inverse. And there, by doing that, the whole thing is complete. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mess up the top again and show you a different way of doing, doing the... Uh, the void to to the way doing the void to avoid the parity. So I'm gonna quickly fast forward this little this, this top mess up here. When, when I always do this, because I've got this, this is like the L, yeah, on your three by three. So yeah, front, right, upper, right reverse, upper reverse, front reverse. Okay, yes, got the line. Okay, we do the move again, as you know. Front, right, upper, right reverse, upper reverse, front reverse. And now, we've got the cross. Now let's have a look. We've got pink, and we'll keep turning this around. What we want is to get two of these edges correct. So we move this blue to here, and we've got blue and orange. Okay, but what we've not got is pink and green. These, these are incorrect. So, what we're going to do is move the correct one, the orange, to the back, and the blue to the right. So these ones are correct, these two need to move. And what we're going to do is that soon move again, yeah? So we're going to do right, upper, right, inverse, upper, right, upper, upper, right. So it's nothing new, but we've, we've knocked this edge out of place, so we'll bring the pink round, we've got the green, 
the orange and the blue. So now we've got these got these edges in the correct place. Now we're not going to do the referee move now or anything like that. We're not going to try and get the, the red completely on top. What we're going to do is going to put these corners in the correct place and then we'll orientate the corners and this is going to stop us having the parity. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. This is in the incorrect corner. Orange and green, that's incorrect. Um, red, blue and orange, that's incorrect. Red, right, so they're all incorrect. So what we'll do, just great, that just means we can do this move. And don't even bother looking and trying to figure it all out. We'll just do the move. Um, and again, I'll uh, annotate the algorithm on the screen. And the move is really quite simple. It's um, you can use this on the three by three as well. This 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 move as well. You can do. We go upper and push the right back. Upper inverse, push the left back. Upper, bring the right back. Upper inverse, bring the left back towards you. Okay, now let's have a look at the corners. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. Blue and pink, that's incorrect. And there, look at that. One's correct. So we've got the red, yeah. The green is for here, and the orange is for there. So this corner is correct. All the other corners are incorrect. And that's what I'd expect. I'd expect one corner just to drop in. So now we're going to do that same move again, yeah? But with the correct corner down on the bottom right. Then we're going to do, it, yeah? Upper, push it right away. Upper inverse, push the left away. Upper, bring the right back. Upper inverse bring the left back yeah and now let's have a look still incorrect that means we've got to do it one more time yeah see this one's incorrect but this is still this one's still in the correct position so yeah we can just do that upper push right away up inverse push the left away upper bring the right back up inverse bring the left back and now yeah so the red Blue and orange is in the correct place. The red, blue, and pink is in the correct place. And this one's in the correct place. So they're all in the correct place. Now all we've got to do is orange aim. It's really important, as we notice, we've got no reds. It wouldn't matter if we had one, two, or three. We're going to have to do some move. And it's just orientating these corners. And it's going to be um, right inverse, down inverse, right down. But we have to do the four piece move. And we keep doing it until this red ends up on the top. Then we hold the cube in this position and then we bring the next corner in and then we bring the next corner in and the next corner in so we keep holding the cube in the same position and make sure we continue the move to the end yeah so we do it right inverse down inverse right down okay that's my move just carry on doing it inverse down inverse right down inverse down inverse and, and don't try and take any shortcuts because you'll mess it all up. So that red went up, we still got that final down move to do, yeah. And as you notice, all this is all this is all messing up. We got to, got to keep keep it going so that it all ends up in the right place at the end. So now we bring the next corner in. It doesn't matter which way you turn it, but we bring the next corner it needs to do an end again. Yeah. Right inverse, down inverse. Right, down. Yeah, let's carry on. Right inverse, down inverse, right. So that we're right down, yeah. So I'm going to bring the next corner in, and then he's doing to here, yeah. Making sure you're holding this, just keep the green white color out at the front. And make sure you keep that bottom colors at the front, yeah. And again, right inverse, down inverse, right down, right inverse, down inverse, right down, yeah. You see, it's a right old mess, yeah. Bring the last corner in, bring that last corner in this here, and we'll do it again, yeah. Carry on, yeah. And hopefully, when this is all complete, everything will be in the right place. Because a minute, it looks right on mess, doesn't it? But, as if, like magic, as if, like a little wardle machine, push that up to the last turn the bottom there. Do you notice that's gone in? And when we bring, turn this around until we find the greens. There we go. And look at that. So that second way I've just done it is parity free, but maybe it's a, it's a new way to you. And you know, it all depends whichever way you flip flops. But there we go, that's how to do the void magic. Till next time.
don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, hit the bell. See you later.